Well, hi there, folks. Welcome to another Thursday morning YouTube Live. This is uh, Vintage Page Designs. My name is Ali Manning, and I am very glad that you are here. It is dark today. Look outside. It is a super dark day, so I have every light on. Um, and today we are going to be doing some Zentangle. Yeah, some Zentangle, folks. Um, let me see. Let me just... Um, so what is Zentangle? Zentangle is making patterns, making structured patterns. Um, and it is fun and relaxing. And I'm going to show you um, some different patterns today. But how did, um, how did I come across it? And how did Zentangle start? Um, it was started by Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas several decades ago. And it has spread all over the world. And um, there are many certified Zentangle teachers out there. And um, if you want to find out more about Zentangle, you can go to zentangle.com and um, check that out. Um, I came across Zentangle in 2010. A friend of mine um, hired a local certified teacher who's called the CZT. And um, she, the teacher came to uh, my friend's house. And then um, our daughters were both 10 at the time. So the four of us, so two moms and two 10-year-old girls, we took our first uh, Zentangle class together in 2010. And I was totally hooked. And what hooked me in was the, the meditative quality of just drawing. It's black and white. You need a pen, a black pen, a pencil, and a piece of paper. And that's pretty much all you need, and maybe a little blending stub. And that is all you need, and you just make patterns. Some are structured, well, most of them are structured patterns, but then you can riff off and do other patterns as well. And it really helps to focus your mind and sort of calm you down. So I did it on and off um, between 2010 and 2020, but I really picked it back up again in 2020. I think maybe, I wonder what happened in 2020, maybe a, maybe a global pandemic, I don't know. Um, and from 2020 onwards, it really became part of my daily um, creative practice. Um, and the reason I think it became part of my daily practice, it's so easy just to pick up a journal and start working um, on some patterns working on some Zentangle patterns. So um, it's portable. It's like I said, you need a pen and a piece of paper. Um, I generally work in a journal, um, but many folks work on the small Zentangle tiles, the little three and a half inch um, tiles. And I do have to give a shout out to um, Nancy Dawes, who um, from iteachtangling.com, who is a friend of mine and who really, um, we brought her into the Handmade Book Club at the beginning of 20, just literally when the pandemic was starting. Um, and I really credit her with kind of getting me back into Zentangle as well. So thank you, Nancy, if you're watching. I don't think she is because she works during the day, but you never know. Um, and so um, I loved it so much. And like I said, it's part of my daily practice has been for, um, over uh, for over two years now and um i became a certified teacher myself back in april of this year so what if you're a certified zentangle teacher you're called a czt you might hear that bandied around so um let me just get that banner from the bottom of the screen what i thought i would do with you today is um show you how i just work in my journal so many of you like me have many 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 unfilled journals. I mean, this right here is a little shelf. I have hundreds and hundreds of um, half finished or empty journals. Some of, most of them I've made, but I even buy them too. Yeah, I know I buy journals. So like, you know, this is a, I th this, oops, hello. This is a moleskin, I think. This is a moleskin journal that is just filled with Zentangle patterns. Um, but I just have a tendency to make and make and make and then start a few journals and never finish them. So I kind of set myself a task of um, filling up some of my journals today, particularly um, this year, particularly the ones that um, are half finished. So um, let me move my camera down and um, show you what I'm going to be working on today. So what I thought we would do is what I like to do and what I'd like to share with you is I'm going to take one Zentangle pattern, and it's a really basic Zentangle pattern called a Crescent Moon pattern. I'm going to show you the basic Zentangle um, pattern. pattern. I keep saying the word pattern. I'm going to show you how to draw that simple 
um, design and then we're going to riff off it and do a whole page of all different kinds of that one um, pattern. So um, that is how I work and it might be a way that you like to work and if you would like to grab a black pen, any black pen is fine, it's a black pen. You can use a micron pen if you want to, you can use a biro, you can use a pencil. It, could, it doesn't have to be black, it can be blue. Just grab a journal, grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, grab a pencil and we can, um, let's start playing together. Let me, I'm just, give me one minute while I switch the camera over. Okay, there we go. I'm going to move across so that I can um, work. So this right here is, um, we made this journal during a live, I think, I think we're doing it on a Facebook Live and the quality was so bad that I re-recorded it for you. So um, Mickey or Amber will drop the link to make this book. It's just a simple leather journal. It's called Simple Leather Journal. And there are several um, signatures inside. This is a two millimeter leather um, and it's this is twine that closes it. Now I started on this journal when I took a watercolor class um, and I didn't like the class. So I abandoned the book and the class. So there we go. So I think there's like, I did one, maybe two things in here and then I'm like, yep, yeah, done, hate it, not gonna do that again. But it's a really nice journal. The paper is delicious. And um, so I am going to challenge myself to um, fill it up. So um, I don't even, I just stuck some paper in here as well. So I'm going to, um, I'm just going to start anywhere and choose a page. And we're going to work on some crescent moon patterns. Let's just flatten this down. I will try it super hard to keep it within frame for you. Um, when I'm doing, actually, let's, let's find a page with a little bit of color. See, I mean, honestly, this is just sat on the shelf and it's such a nice book. I'll probably zentangle over these two. Let's just, I even did some writing, some notes in here. Let me try and find a page that I want to start on. I don't know. Where should we, where was the page I planned to start? Let's, oh, here we go. I, I don't even know what that was. I was just testing on some paints. So um, in the zentangle world, there's something called um, a bijou tile which is two inches square. Um, and I really like working this two inch square style, but what I do is um, I've made myself a little template from cardstock of um, two inch squares. So I really like just to draw myself a little two inch square. And I'm gonna show you um, the very basic crescent moon pattern. Let me show you the pens I'm gonna be working with. Um, let's see, I have micron pens, which are lovely. I've got the PN, which means it's got a plastic nib. Oops, things are rolling away. So this is a Micron PN, and then I've got the Micron 01, which is a fairly delicate nib. Um, and delicate and me don't really go together. I tend to trash these quite easily. Um, so I usually work with the PN. I've got a white um, jelly roll too. I might add some white in. I've got a pencil, which is an HB pencil. I've got a white charcoal pencil which I might use. Um, and honestly, this is the um, Pilot V, oh, it's the V5, this one. Um, this is from the office supply store and um, it's not waterproof. These are waterproof, I believe. It's not waterproof, but I really like the tip um, and I often work with this as well. So just so you know, um, but you know, black pen for practice in your journal is a black pen. So, Oh no, let's use the PN. I can't be trusted with the O1, I'm gonna ruin it. The pattern I'm gonna show you today is called Crescent Moon. If you could read my handwriting. And I'm just going to, um, my comments make me feel normal. I'm just looking at the comments. <laughs> Here we go. Don't see if there's any questions. Um, do you see how I've written that? That's my handwriting. Let's come in a little closer, shall we? That's my handwriting. It's pretty terrible, um, but my patterns are gonna be the same. My patterns are going to be um, my patterns. So they're gonna be as distinct as my handwriting. So I'm gonna show you how I would do this um, Zentangle pattern called Crescent Moon, but 
it may look different to yours. It may look different to someone else's. And then once we start doing variations on this pattern, it's going to also look different. So um, I guess I just want to reassure you, your pattern does not, your present moon does not need to look exactly like mine or anybody else's. So traditionally, crescent moon is done with a little crescent shape like that, or half moon even. You're going to start it out by just doing, and we're going to space them apart, and I'm going to put them around the edge of this little two-inch box that I have. You could also do it on a line if you wanted to, just a straight line. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just going to check. Um, I can see I've got a message. Oh, excellent. All right, let's do another one right there at the edge. I'm just going to do a couple, just do two edges. And now I'm going to color in. Now, some people think these are ladybugs. I think they look like orange slices to me. Now, some people do theirs very shallow like that. And some people do big ones like that. Guess what? This is your pattern. You can do whatever you like. Okay, let's just do three. And then you're going to, now I like to turn mine so that I'm right-handed. So I like to have the object I'm outlining on the left. I'm just going to outline that little shape, my little orange slices. I'm just going to outline it like that. It's often called an aura, but I like to just call it an outline. And now I'm going to outline them again. I'm going to try and keep them even. That one's not even. Does it matter? Nope. Okay. I'm going to keep doing that. I might do it one more time. Like that. And that is the basic crescent moon shape. Now I could keep going and do, do these ones too and fill in the whole box. And if I filled in the whole box, it would look something like this. I'm just going to see if I can pull this off. I'm just, oh no, I've just ripped a page. If I carried on, it would look something like this. If I just kept doing the crescent moon shape all the way around the edge, then it would almost look like a little spider's web. You can see that. So that is the basic crescent moon um, pattern. I'm just, I'm not going to carry on and fill that in because we'll be here all day. That's a way that you could do crescent moon. Let's just, let's just do another little box and then we're going to start on a journal page. Let's just do another little box like this. Another way that I really like to do crescent moon is to start in my corner here and do like a half crescent moon. Fill that in. I'm going to just keep it on my left because I find it easier to um, do the outlines if it's on my left. And then you can outline it. You can do three lines, four lines, five lines. There are no real rules here. So there's one, and now I'm going to do another little one here. I'm going to switch pens. I'm really fond of this pen. I have to tell you, this is the Pilot. By the way, it's Mickey's favorite pen too, so it must be good. At least I think it's Mickey's favorite pen. Fill this in, and then let's do the little outlines again. One, two, three. I think three's good. And now I'm going to add in another one. If you are um, tangling along with me, let me know in the chat once you've finished whatever you're drawing, your line or whatever. I'd love to know. And if you are an experienced um, tangler, let's outline this, outline this again. Tell me what your favorite pattern is, and then maybe we'll um, do this again sometime. There's another one. So now I'm stacking them one on top of each other rather than doing them in a row like this. So I could add another one here. I could add another one in here, and then I could stack them up. And if you stacked them up like this, you would wind up with a little tile like that. So we're not going to get into doing um, shading or anything today. Um, we're going to be working in a journal page. Um, 
but that is another way that you can do it. And what if you had, let's go over to the other corner of this journal. What if you had a nice row? I'm going to do some big ones now. So they almost look like half moon shapes. What if you did a little variation on that? What if you did some stripes? So I'm going fairly quick here, but when I'm doing um, this at home, as part of my morning practice, I go slow so that um, I can just be really careful and think about it and sort of let my mind and hand wander. So I am um, going to outline this, but I'm going to do big fat outlines like that. Big and so you see these have almost joined together now. They look like a pair of eyes. Remember that Wes? Remember that thing they used to do with the little eyes looking over the wall? Maybe not. And then what I could do is I could color them in so we could have stripes like this. If you can see that. And if, I, if you want to go quicker, you can always um, get a larger pen. So say you want to color in more quickly, not quicker, more quickly, you can get a fatter pen. And you can color in those stripes. So now, instead of these little thin stripes, you've got this big, large stripe like that. So you can see that you can riff off this like crazy. What if I added another one and then maybe we put circles in here? That would be very cool. So I'm going to start a journal page with Crescent Moon and see where it takes me. I'm just going to um, play and see where my pen and my hand and my mind <laughs> takes me in creating this journal page. Let me see. Oh, is Nat, did I just see? Oh, I saw Nan Nancy Russell. That was Nancy Dawes. Oh, I'm just looking at some of your favorites. Poke root, says Tonya. Nancy hasn't tangled for ages. Uh, da, da, da. CZT37, says Barbara. Yay. So um, when you become a CZT, um, you get a number to sort of indicate your, your cohort. So um, it looks like Barbara's a 37. Nice. And Marty's a 37 too. So they took that. It means they took their training together. Um, all right. T but Deborah says she's tangling, but it's a bit messy. Good. Messy is fine. Messy is really, really fine. Um, here's a peek inside my, um, this is my sort of daily journal for Zen Tangles. And here's a peek inside um, some other ideas that I was riffing on for Crescent Moon that we will perhaps incorporate into our journal page. Who knows? Um, you could do this inside a leaf shape like this. So that would look something like, um, let's draw a shape here. Here's my line here. I could draw my little crescent shape there, my orange slice. I could do one there, I could do one there, could do one there, and then carefully outline them. Another one. And you see how I keep, go even though I can't go all the way around, I just keep going to the side like that. Mm, I might even add another one in there. Who knows? And then come from the other side of my leaf shape. Oops, sorry, I'm going off the camera a little bit. Big pardon. And there we go. So that's how you could do a leaf shape. Maybe I would just leave it with lots of white space like that. Um, you could, another fun thing that you can do, which I'll show you is, do you see inside the, um, if you just did a big, nice semicircle, you could do um, different things inside there. You could do some circles and stripes and flowers. So let's let's experiment with that too. You can see here we've got those big stripes that um, I did right here. Um, 
we've got this wavy line, which I'll, let's do that in my journal. So you can see just from this one little tangle, this is sort of the original one, you get so many different ideas um, and possibilities. I even tried doing one in a circle here, which was kind of fun. So um, let's get started on my journal page and see where it takes me. So if there's any questions before um, I get started. Uh, another poke root fan. <gasps> Carol's beca became a CZT this weekend. Congratulations, Carol. Yay. I love it. I love it. All right. So um, I like this. Nancy says, I need to take some deep breaths, been busy and need to calm down. That is one of the things that I find really helps me with this. It really kind of calms me down and um, helps me focus. All right, let's get going on this journal page. So I feel like when I was doing water, when I, my aborted watercolor, um, my aborted watercolor class, which didn't go well, I did another um, page here. I guess I plan to do something. Um, so I'm going to do um, some Zentangle on here. I think what I will do is some lines. So I really like to draw myself lines. You, and let's, you know, I'm just actually going to put this to one side because I'll ruin that pen and then, you know. If you're just joining us, we are doing some Zentangle patterns inside um, a journal um, because it's my mission to fill up my journals. So you have probably seen, if you've been following me for a while, you've probably seen me do this a bazillion times. Um, I'm going to just draw some um, horizontal lines in this journal. I may include a quote. Um, I may not. Who knows? I will make some skinny. I'm going to make some fat like that. I'm going to join some up at the side. If you can hear the rain, it is pouring. Um, let's just do a few like this. Let's just see where that, let's just see where that takes us. So now we've got sort of um, a guideline. How about I just start with the real basics and we'll do a regular um, pattern, the regular crescent moon. So let's start right here. So actually I'm going to start in the middle. So what I find is then if I go towards the end, I can kind of do half, half shapes. And then that, um, I know, just feels a little more organic. Maybe we'll get one in here. So do you see, these are not all the same shape. And, and that's okay, because guess what? This is my journal and I get to do whatever I like with it. And this is for my own enjoyment, right? Imagine that, relaxing and enjoying something creative. Isn't that what we're all supposed to be doing? So I'm going to just fill, I'm just going to color in a couple of these because um, this is the basic crescent moon pattern again. Do you see this one is a very sort of shallow crescent as it were, and then these are much bigger. And I think that's okay. And now I'm just going to flip my journal to the side because as I mentioned before, I really like to um, outline my shape with it on the left. If you were um, left-handed, you'd probably have that on the right. Let's just do some e as even as I can. I'm going to go over my little circle, semicircles. I'll fill the, I'll color those in later. Oh, forgot that one there. So I'm going to outline them all once and then I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to outline them all, all again. At some point, they'll kind of join up, right? I'm trying to keep the distance between them um, even. If I don't, it's okay. Whoops, no, that one's not particularly even, is it? I forgot to outline that one. That's okay. And then let's go back to beginning. So I'm going to outline this one. It's almost finished. And then, so we're just going to wind up with a little um, triangle there. Let's see. Oh, what's a CZT? Asked Rhonda. Thank you, Mickey or Amber. So I'm going to outline that, but that just became a little triangle. Let's sort of extend this around. 
And let's keep outlining. Let's outline this one. Let's outline this one. And now we've sort of come to the end here. And I'm just going to fill in these gaps. Whoops. Tried to keep it under the camera and um, it's a bit far away from me. There we go. Is this perfect? No. Is that okay? Yes. So I'm just going to keep going here and I'm going to fill in these little triangles. We are. And then, you know, what I might do, I might just fill in this background here, fill in these little triangles. So it looks like um, they're on a black background. Such a basic crescent moon. But let's just mix things up, folks. Let's mix it up. I can finish coloring that later. I want to mix this up and do a little, oh, I don't know, what should we do? What should we do? Let's do some flowers. So I'm going to do a humongous one. Look at that. And I'm not going to leave a gap. So maybe this isn't really crescent moon. Does it matter? Nope. Not really. Oh, I started at the end there. Never mind. And then let's outline it very quickly. I'm doing big outlines now. And by that, I mean I'm leaving a big gap. Whoops. Let's do another um, outline. Or people um, in the Zentanga world call that an aura. I'm going to go around like this. I think that's enough. And then should we do something inside this circle? Let's do some petals. So we're going to do one right there. Another petal, another one. So we'll have a total of five. Two in the center, two in the sides. And then let's color in the background. So maybe this isn't really crescent moon at all anymore, but that's okay. Maybe you decided to, um, maybe you're going to decide to color the petals in black and leave the background white. I don't know. This is your journal page. You can, You get to decide. So I would go in and tidy that coloring up. So I will repeat this all the way along. That's my five little petals. When I finish this page, um, I'll post a photograph. If you um, are not following me on Instagram, feel free. I can just pop, pop my... Um, Instagram on the bottom of the screen if you are not following us. Um, that's where are we? That's where you can find us on Instagram. So I will post on Instagram stories when I finish this page. So let's just keep going with our little petals. So I would keep filling in the, um, the background of these black. And then maybe I would fill in this background in black. Maybe, maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't. Today I will. Let's do that. Maybe I fill in this background in black. So what I really like about um, just working in black and white is the, the drama that the black creates. So obviously we have blue here on the page, but just by adding this black background here. So, so it's almost like the Zentangle is drawn, the Zentangle pattern is drawn on the black and then, oops, i tidy that up in a minute. So you could fill in the back in black, that would be really fun. Let's just tidy this up a little bit like that. So that is one variation. Hmm. You know that's going to bug me, don't you? And I'll have to go in and fix it. But that's okay. I won't do that right now. Okay. So here is another variation. Let's think about another variation. What could we do now? It'll be a little different. Maybe we could turn our book on its side. Perhaps we could do one, oops, hello, one here and one here on either side of the line. 
So we could do that. I'm doing slightly shallow ones now. We are. We could color them in. So this is a really wide line. So I would probably, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller by just doing a small line here. So I'm now going to outline this line first. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to outline the other side of the line now. So here's another option for you. Let's flip it around. This is going to look totally different. All with the same pattern. Crescent moon. Flip it around. I'm just going to check see if there's any questions. Uh, um, this is a good question. Are Zentangle patterns ever colored? Well, these are yours, so you absolutely can color them if you want to. Um, and yes, they are. A lot of people do leave them black and white, um, but um, definitely within the, um, the teachers of Zentangle, Maria and Rick, I have definitely seen them color them and the different uh, project packs that they release. And I've seen many people online color them too. So I personally prefer to um, do them on colored backgrounds in black and white. So do you see how these are kind of linking up the outline? So it's almost like we're creating a wave here. So you would just keep going as much, do as many um, of the outlines or auras as you would like and then that's going to create like this wavy line fill in these a little bit so you know what i'll be doing tomorrow my zentangle practice is finishing this page so that you can all see it on instagram so let's just fill let's just color these in if you're just joining us and you are have a regular zentangle practice let me know in the chat uh, what your favorite um, pattern is i've seen someone mention poke root which I, I actually really like poke leaf quite often, but um, I often do that one instead. So you can see if I keep outlining this, it's going to create this wavy shape. Um, let's think of another one that we could do. Um, mm -mm, maps. we could do some stripes. I really quite fancy doing some stripes. I think I might do one that starts in the corner like this. And I'm really going to get my favorite pen. I'm going to do one that starts in the corner. So do you remember, um, where is it? Um, right here, where do we do piece of beginning? There was my first page. This one right here that we, we did in the corner. I'm going to do that here. I'm going to start the corner of my line and then I'm, I might add some words actually. I'm going to outline one two, three outlines, and I'll do another. So it's almost like half a crescent moon, quarter moon. Let's add in another one. Three, and then I'm going to add one right here. And you could add some white to this page, which would be really fun. So using a gel pen, I'm just going to keep doing three outlines like that. Make sure that you're not... Question... Oh, good. Sorry, thanks, Mickey. <laughs> Question about using color. I got that. Thanks. So I have helping me out Amber and Mickey, who you definitely know Mickey because she has been with the Handmade Book Club and with me for two years now, but you may not... Um, no, Amber. Amber Weaver is a new member of our team and she has been joining us on Thursday mornings because, um, well, thank goodness she's been joining us on Thursday mornings because we've been trying to get our um, these lives up and running. We've definitely had a few technical issues. So I am extremely grateful that we have had Amber here to help us out. And she she has been, she is a wonderful new member of our team. So I'm just going to keep doing this. You, you get the idea, I am sure. 
I'm going to look at the comments, see if anyone has let me know what their favorite patterns are. I think I might just add another one right there. So you would just keep going and filling that up. How about I add a little white? Where did my pen? Here we go. Hunt the pencil. It really is the story of my life. Always, always losing things on my desk. Now I've lost my white pencil. Oh. Hey ho. Oh no, there it is. Here it is. It was right here all along. Um, I might go in and add some white. So I might decide that I want to fill in one of these. And this is a white um, charcoal pencil. Add some white. I'm not sure you can see that very well, actually. Um, I can see it more in person. So it's just on top of the blue, but you can also add this white chalk to um, the, the black as well. So perhaps we'll do that in a minute. It might actually look better if I contrast it by putting this in as a stripe. Oh yes, now we're talking. Now we're talking, that looks so good. Against the black and the white and the blue. So you can see how that really pops now. So let's color these in. Do you see how this just, your, things are just gonna come out of your pen. Hopefully all your worries will leave your mind just temporarily as you fill in your journal page. I am gonna find a quote because I would like to put some words on this page. Um, I've got, this is a, um, you know, these desk, oh, <laughs> it's a little bit close. Let me just come out a little bit. Let me, oh, no, hello. Um, you know these desk calendars that you get um, with quotes on? So um, this one's by a company called Sugarboo. And I found this uh, last summer. Um, and it's just got interesting quotes. So I really like um, looking through these and finding ones to go in my journals. Some are better than others, I will say. Um, I found one I liked earlier. Oh, that's nice. What you do, the way you think makes you beautiful, says Scott Westerfield. That's a nice one. Um, I'm just going to remove this Instagram thing from the bottom. It's kind of annoying. There we go. Um, people inspire you or they drain you. Pick them wisely. Oh, okay. Hans, Hansen. Good advice. Um, oh, I like this one. Turn your wounds into wisdom, says Oprah Winfrey. We'll use that one on our book. So let me come in again. Turn your wounds into wisdom. All right. I'll try. Um, where will I put it? Turn. Uh, I think I'll, I'll pop my quote in here. And I think I'm going to outline this line here so that later on I can um, put a black line, like a thin black line along here. I could just do it now, couldn't I, while we chat? Let's see the comments, if there's any other favorites. Deborah says, I didn't know there were names and specific shapes. That's just within the Zentangle world. You don't have to um, call them certain names and shapes if you don't want to. It's just within the Zentangle world. Um, Huggins says, Tonya. Um, Oh, I'm glad you like them, Pamela. All right, so I've just created like a dark black line there to create some differentiation. Let's um, put Oprah's words on here. So I'm just gonna do lovely big letters and then go over them. Turn your, I'm just gonna fill up the whole line, your wounds. And then into wisdom, I think we'll put right here in this big section here. So I might just outline this one again. Just use a steady hand. Good job, I only had one cup of coffee this morning, otherwise my hand might be a bit shaky. Into wisdom. So I'm gonna do in. To, whoop, it's gonna be a big word, wisdom. Oh, 
And I know you can barely see these letters, but I'll go over them. And then I'll probably put Oprah Winfrey here. Make sure I spell it right. Nothing worse than like um, writing something in your journal and then realize you misspelt it. I did that the other day with practice. I misspelled practice. Ugh, so annoying. So then I might just go over these. I'm not a lettering artist, as you can probably tell, but I'm just going to make these a bit stronger and add a little bit of weight on the end. If you want a good lettering artist, you go to our friend Joanne Sharp. So I would just um, outline all of these. Make this line stronger, and then carry on with our patterns. So let's think of another pattern that we could do. Ooh, I have a good one. So how about this? How about, how about doing a triangle shape? So here's my kind of practice page. How about doing, if you did a triangle and then you could do crescent moon in the corners, look. So you would do the little half, the quarter moon <laughs> in the corner and then you could outline that. That would be kind of fun. So we could do that um, on the journal page. So like that, like that, and just keep going and filling in the triangle. That would be pretty fun. So let's, um, Let's incorporate that onto this page. So I might do some big triangles like this. So hopefully at this point, all your cares have left you behind and you are just relaxed and doing your drawing. I might just do one little piece in each of the tips of the triangles. Let's turn it so I can just outline like that. Turn it around. Hopefully you can see this and outline it like that. So is that crescent moon? Maybe, maybe not. Does it matter? Nope. This is our journal page. I make this line a bit heavier. I make this top line a bit heavier, like that. And I would keep going. Maybe I would color in these edge parts. Yep, there we go. We'll just, just do one more line here. Color in the edge, perhaps, and then just keep going. So that's another riff on that pattern. Do another one here. I could do this all day. Oh. oh, turn that around. Okay, there's another idea. Let's think of something else. How about we don't, um, how about instead of a circle, you know, you just did a, a more organic shape. So let's find our practice page again. Actually, we have a line. Instead of doing that circle like that, and coloring it in, maybe you did something more organic like that and then outlined that. That would be kind of interesting. Almost looks like a topographic map, right? I feel like my pen's running out a little bit. Ooh, might be. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do that on that page, but you certainly could do that. I, I feel like I need some circles in here. So I normally I would just, I would probably fill this whole line in with circles. Because who doesn't love circles? I don't know. That certainly isn't a riff on Crescent Moon. They're just circles. But I might fill in that whole line with circles. Um, and then let's see. I might think what I'll do is. Do some large crescent moons. It's almost coming to the end, folks, because my page, my lines are getting filled up. I'm gonna have to go finish this up. 
Imagine sitting with a cup of tea in the afternoon, your favorite chair, the black pen and your journal. Just meditatively drawing lines and circles, coloring them in, thinking about the words that you've written on the page. I'm gonna fill these with circles. And then I'm going to fill in that background. So this is all stemming from drawing a little crescent moon shape and outlining it with some lines. That's just your jumping off point. I don't think it needs to be any more complicated than that. All right, let's see. I'm actually kind of getting lost. <laughs> I'm getting lost in doing my thingies. Oh, good. We've got lots of suggestions of favorite tangles. Yes, is there a good place to find other patterns? Absolutely, there are. Let me um, pop that on. A great place to go is zentangle.com. It's a great place to go. Go to zentangle.com to find more patterns. They have a great beginner book. But you know what I would really encourage you to do? Like, I love new patterns. I love new, new everything. But I really would encourage you just to um, pick one or two patterns and, like, really explore them really well so that you um, – because I don't know about you, but I kind of get hung up on the shiny object syndrome, like the new, you know, the new paint color, the new art supply, the new this, the new that, the new pen, you know. Um, and I sometimes um, forget to just sort of – maybe concentrate on the basics and practice just practice um whatever it is bookmaking zentangle patterns anything in life really because i think feel like we're often always chasing the next new thing let's go check the time so you get the idea with this one. You keep filling the circles and then maybe in this center part, I do a circle, maybe. Maybe I do some small circles. Maybe I do some little outlines there. Who knows? This is mine, right? We'll just, it'll, it'll evolve and turn into what I would like. Let me think if there's anything else that we could do. This, well, there's lots that we could do. I need to keep, keep going on all of this. Um, let's see. I would really like to add in some more white somewhere. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just going to keep going and see what happens. Keep riffing on this one crescent moon pattern. So are there any questions before we finish up today? Let me have a look. Are there any questions that I missed? What pen to fill in again? So um, this is not a conventional pen. Um, who asked that? Virginia. This is not a conventional Zentangle pen. This is from the office supply store. It's a pilot. I forget what kind. Is this a gel pen? I don't even know what it is. Um, I just really like this pen. It feels really nice in my hand. Traditionally, people will fill in with like a PN pen or... Um, They'll have a large, so this is a Micron 01, which means it's got a fine tip. There's ones which are finer, to be honest, um, but you might use a Micron 05. Um, I, I just happen to have this on my desk. This, it's almost like a big marker, which I've used to fill in with, but um, this is not waterproofing, nor is this. So if you, if you, know, if you felt like you wanted to, um, if it's gonna come in contact with water, then, then you, wouldn't, um, you wouldn't use it. Thank you for popping that in. Um, what other questions are there? I don't see any other questions. Um, I'm, I'm loving your patterns though. Mooka, Bales, Hollibile. I can't say that very well. Knightsbridge, love Knightsbridge. Henna drum, excellent. Thank you, I appreciate that. I will um, make notes of those. And um, maybe if we do this again, um, 
I can use those patterns too. So let me just, I mean, I'm just gonna, let me just flick through my, <laughs> my journal to show you that, like I'll do the same pattern over and over again. I promise you, I do practice what I preach. I'll just keep doing over and over again in all different ways. Like this is um, Cadent, for example. And I just have a whole page of doing the same ones. Sometimes I add stripes, sometimes I add things behind, sometimes they're an organic shape. Sometimes I draw them in half, sometimes I put a circle in the middle. Like it's just taking the same basic shape or pattern and going and sort of riffing off it. There's another one, I think it's called Tab. Oh, right here. And just playing with one single um, pattern until you've kind of exhausted it. So I would um, I would really encourage you to do that. Here's one, I forget what this is called. But here's the original one, but then I added circles and we added some shading. I've probably done, I carved a rubber stamp with that shape. You know, I put different patterns inside and this is all one oh, it's called double double by margaret margaret bremner um that's something different but do you see what i'm saying you're like you just take one pattern and take it in a million different directions so you can look back at this you know my journal here and this is the crescent moon that we have just done well i will have finished a whole journal page um just from all from just one simple pattern um, which is a half circle and then some lines around it so um, let me come out of there, see if there's any um, questions. Let me remove this, let me move over. Ginny says she's a purist, uh, oh no, no, it's Colleen. She's kind of purist, but likes the idea of riffing. Thank you. <laughs> I think they call it, isn't it tangulations they call it, but let's not get hung up on all the words, let's just, Let's just have fun. Let's just relax and have fun with this kind of thing. Um, Ginny says, this is fun. Thanks. Oh, I can pop that on the screen actually so you can see it. Um, it's fun to do Zentangle again. It'll be fun to do again. Yes, I'd be happy to. If this is the kind of thing you would like now and again, I'd be happy to. Um, I will be doing other things within um, my journal pages just so just to show you the kind of things I do. I'm not real. I mean, I think I'm, I'm not an expert in Zentangle. I'm not really an expert. The only thing I'm an expert in is making books. Um, but I do love to put things inside my journals. I'm not an expert in one particular sort of mixed media thing. So I will just show you what I do inside my journals and um, you can play along if you would like. But um, I do encourage you to try and put some stuff in all these books we make because um, it's fun and we should use them up and then we can make more, which is what it's all about, right? Um, okay, it doesn't look like we have any questions. Blythe just tuned in, tuned in so she's going to um, watch the replay. Absolutely. Um, if you remember to subscribe to the channel, folks, and then you will get a um, reminder. We are going live every Thursday, um, but you will at noon Eastern time, uh, on the United States Eastern time. But you will, um, if you subscribe to the channel, then you will get a little reminder and also um, it'll say what we are doing. So um, if you tuned in last week, I apologize for the technical issues. Um, we have cleaned up that recording. If you want to go back and look at the business Q&A um, that we did, um, it, it's not perfect because <laughs> we had many technical uh, difficulties, but we still did it. We cleaned up the recording and hopefully there are some juicy nuggets in there. So um, like I say, don't forget to subscribe. Go back and look at old videos um, that we have on the channel, um, including um, how to create this quick and easy leather journal. That is on there too. I'm sure Mickey or Amber will pop the link in for me. Thank you very much. Um, Melissa says maybe once a month for the Zentangle. Sure, I, we could probably do that. Um, don't forget to um, connect with us on um, Instagram. Let me pop the Instagram up there. We are on Instagram, so um, check later and or probably tomorrow actually when I um, I will sh I will pop up the finished page. Of course, I've now lost the page. I will finish the page for you. I will finish this page and pop it up um, on Instagram stories so that you can see it because obviously it's half finished. And if you um, have been tangling along with us today. Um, please feel free to um, share on Instagram and um, tag me because I would love to, I'd love to see that. And also don't forget to um, sign up for our newsletter, folks, because that way you can find out about all the juicy, fun things that we've got going on, like 
challenges and when the book club opens and when there are free tutorials and blog posts. So we would love to stay connected with you. All right, my friends, have a um, wonderful day. And um, thank you for popping that in the, the comments, Mickey or Amber. Have a wonderful um, day. Have a wonderful week, folks. And I will catch you um, very soon. Take care.